three strikes and we're on fire. Today's episode is all about snow business, but can we get the job done? Find out now. You're watching. You're watching AMP Outdoors. Seven, but actually, we've already been on the road for three hours. We made Derek get up at four so we can get on the road and head out to Montana. We're going pronghorn hunting. Today, follow along as my good friend Josh Costello recounts our first Western adventure together as we chase the fastest animal in North America. Well, Pete just gave me a call one day out of the blue and said, Hey, we're going to go antelope hunting in Montana. You want to tag along? I just said, Sure. Worked out great for me because growing up in Iowa on a beef farm, I was able to hunt whitetail, turkey. I was out hunting almost all year round. And now living out here in the Southwest, being in Las Vegas, being a police officer, I haven't had a chance to go hunting in years, especially since I got out of college and came out here. So it was just nice to be able to go up to big sky country, chase down antelope, something I'd never even seen before. I didn't even know what they looked like before uh, I signed up to go on this trip. The way it works in Montana is if you're going as a group, you can apply as a party. So either the whole party gets tags or nobody gets a tag. So we didn't know until almost the end of August that we were going to be able to actually go antelope hunting. While Derek and Pete were driving out, they actually had a chance to travel some of the ground that we were going to be hunting in the days coming. So they actually took a chance to slow down, do a little scouting, see what was out there. Meanwhile, I was trying to fight the elements and drive through a wicked winter storm that was coming into town while I was driving over from Billings to Miles City. Saturday, we got up early in the morning, took off, went out and did a little scouting. Uh, Weather was pretty crazy, it's pretty sloppy and muddy. Didn't really see a whole lot while we were out there driving around. It uh, seemed to be kind of unproductive, really didn't get a good feel for where any of the antelope were gonna be. But uh, I did actually get to see a few antelope for the first time in my life, see what I was actually there to hunt. No, none of those have horns. Oh, oh, one of them does. No, that's, no, none of them have horns. Saturday was the day before season opened so we got a chance to type a few loose ends, get some last minute hunting gear that we needed, and it also gave Derek a chance to try to sight in his rifle, which he should have done before he left, which led to us having a, a beautiful joke for the rest of the time. Derek uh, became the brunt of many a jokes and gave us a, a lifetime memory that we'll never forget. What an idiot! Sunday we were up before dawn with uh, opening day jitters, a lot of excitement but the weather was absolutely horrible, not cooperating at all. We got in, drove almost an hour and a half to get to where we were trying to go, only to be met by absolute blizzard whiteout conditions. Didn't even get the camera out of the box. We got out, put our gear on, walked probably half a mile and decided we couldn't hardly see each other standing next to each other, so there wasn't really much point in trying to chase down an antelope in that kind of weather. So back to the truck we went. All right, it's day three out here in Montana. We haven't had any luck so far. Morning, Pete. I'm well, disappointed I don't have the uh, mustache goatee thing going on, but uh, I'm working on it here. Soul patch, bro. It's soul patch. Soul patch. Gotta have the soul patch. Montana hunting. It's good times. Good times. But uh, not when the daytime high is supposed to be 62 and uh, you're getting 35 at best with uh, blowing wind and snow. That sucks. Day three proved to be a lot better for us. It was another early morning and uh, another long drive back out to one of the properties where we had permission to hunt. But it was one of the properties we scouted early in the morning on Saturday and really didn't have any luck. When we got there, we started driving back into the property to the area where we thought was gonna be fruitful for us. And we just accidentally stumbled across a herd of about 10 to 15 that had a couple of nice bucks in it. So the hunt began a little bit earlier than we thought it was going to. Once that herd was gone, I was a little bit disappointed, but not 10 steps further. And I looked over on the ridge line and I saw a pretty large herd of antelope across the valley from us. So we went up the hill a little bit to the tractor and Pete was able to crawl up there with the camera and the spotting scope and get a good eye on them. Determined there was quite a few good bucks in there. So after we got some footage from there, we backed off, 
went down around the ridge and actually started trying to stalk that herd. We've done a lot of stalking out here. Right now we got a herd of antelope. We saw about 50 to start out with. They're over this way, about another 200, 300 yards. We're just trying to get in a position right now where we can possibly belly crawl and get a clean shot at them. Or at least if they start to move, have some more way of concealment so we can get a clean shot on when they come into the open. We were able to crawl up to the crest of the ridge, and right as we could see over, we saw that we were about 100 to 125 yards away from a herd of what we thought was about 50 antelope. All right, right now we crept up over the hill on the herd. They're about 150 to 175 yards in front of us. They have no clue that we're here. They've gone ahead and bedded down in the afternoon. They're just enjoying some sunshine. We're gonna crawl about another 10 yards, and then we're just gonna wait, make sure we get a clear shot. We just had to wait them out. Uh, we decided that Derek was going to be the first one to take the shot, so Derek was able to see some horns, I was able to see some horns, and Derek picked out an antelope that he wanted, I picked out one that I wanted, and from there, it was just a waiting game. After what seemed like an eternity, but it was actually just a little bit over an hour, one stood up. It wasn't the first one that Derek had looked at, but it's one he decided he was comfortable with shooting. So Derek got set, Pete got the camera ready, and I got eyes on my buck and got ready to take a shot at him when he got up, and that's when Derek squeezed off the first shot. Uh, it seemed like time stood still after he shot, nothing moved, it was just quiet, and then all of a sudden, all hell broke loose. There was antelope in places we didn't even know there was antelope. You missed. Oh, Josh, you gonna get the back one? I took a yeah. shot at my buck, but I missed him. There he is. Get that back one. Somebody shoot him. And then it was pretty much like World War III. Derek was tossing lead, I was tossing lead. Did I hit him? I don't know. He's down, I hit him. And I knew as soon as I shot, I hit him. I watched him, he traveled about 20 yards, and then he was down. We got, got a couple shots off at the group. The group took off. They're still playing around we're in the hillside. We got one of them down. I'm going to try to get into position to see if we can't get a shot on the second group. And what an exciting feeling to know that I just killed my first antelope. Oh, there he is, guys. Five to 100 yards from where we initially took the Overall, shot. Overall, this is one of the most enjoyable things I've ever done in my life. Just, you know, growing up in Iowa on a small farm and not having any of the wild animals like they do out here in the West. I mean, what a total experience to come out here, to have to buy everything I needed from scratch, to set up the trip with Pete and Derek, to go up to Montana, somewhere I'd never been before, venture out into the, you know, the open prairie, something I've never experienced hunting before because of all the timbers I have back in Iowa and to, to harvest an antelope on my first hunting trip, just start to finish, what a great time. I'd like to thank AMPM Outdoors for getting me involved in this adventure. Truly, I think it's something that everybody should get a chance to do at least once in a lifetime. If you're a hunter, you need to come out west and you need to chase an antelope. For AMPM Outdoors, I'm Peter Michael, and it's time you found yourself outdoors.